I know, I'm, I'm a humble guy. But, I don't care what anyone says. Greatest Mosin the Gaunt ever. Prove me wrong. What are we looking at? We're going to look at a limited release from Three Sheeps. This is Wolf. And uh, it is a bourbon barrel aged imperial stout with hard maple wood staves. I mean, what's that? Is that, like a, is that for killing vampires? Um, and cocoa nibs. I mean, I'm telling you, I absolutely enjoy a good set of nibs. Okay. We're already off to a bad start. 14.7%. This shouldn't be an issue at all, right? Right, guys? Right? I think they had two of these on the shelf over at Keyport. I decided, wow. I think this is a... An easy fail for the uh, the light test. It kind of looks like Coca-Cola. I am generally not a fan of three sheeps. I I not okay. So here's Jim mode Firefly. Hang on, I know I I know Jim would want us to wait. Um, damn. Okay, you can enjoy it. I'll just continue on with the freaking light show. Jim mode low. Ooh, wait a second. Medium. Seriously? You couldn't see low? Firefly? Low. Okay, I must not have clicked. So, yeah. Medium. High. No, I guess, I guess it is not. Low does not make it through. Medium? Killing it. It, it looks kind of nasty, but... Looks it looks very light. I mean, it's not doing. It's not desperate blonde. It's not clingy or anything like that. I think Jim would like that one too. Now, unlike some, it doesn't smell bad. Kind of a kind of a typical imperial with. Uh, I am actually getting a little bit of a maple. Cheers. Definitely a maple sweet sweetness. And now I'm getting like... You can tell by my face I'm really digging it. Yeah, I'm... Not quite. Uh, yeah, okay. That's his <laughs> personal favorite. I mean, what could possibly go wrong other than a divorce? Uh, let's see. Clyde was the first insane first. And then he says, whiskey and revolution for all. And then Miles says, I don't care. I was there. And then Mike says, cheers, effers. And then Mike says, it is Eric and Matt. And then Mike says, I drink way more than I should. From what you tell me, I cannot argue with you, Mike. DFC says, podium sniff. Redneck says, greetings, Captain. Greetings, Redneck. Uh, Rich Huff says, cheers all. Cheers, my little Richie Poo. Yeah, I'm, I don't know. There's pros and cons to lips like that. I'm sure you can figure it out on your own. If you need to, I can draw you a little map. Poco, oh great. Did Matt pregame? I'm going with yes. I know I did. I had a beer. I had a beer, and then... Uh, and then I decided uh, to have a Bloody Mary, and then I had a beer, and then um, then the brew review started. 
today is supposed to be that day. What's that look? <laughs> I got something to stick up your ass. Chuck with... Jesus God. Chuck says, have Clyde tell you what went, went on in 1968 in Korea. He knows shit. Well, Chuck, I, I, I appreciate the uh, sparking the, uh, uh, the, the, the massive powers of Google upon Clyde, but why is this? Okay, maybe I'll just read what he says and we'll come to a conclusion. Uh, Clyde says, the uh, Blue House Raid, also known as the South Korea as the January 21st incident, uh, was a raid launched by North Korea commandos to assassinate the president of South Korea, uh, Park uh, Chung-hee, in his residence at the Blue House on January 21st, 1968. Clyde, or Chuck, says back to Clyde, there were 145 cat Katusta? Katusta uh, killed? 17 GIs killed? We received $65 uh, per month hostile fire pay. The infantry wore the CIB. Hundreds wounded and hundreds of skirmishes on the DMZ. Multi-gunman says, hi Chuck, good to see you. Speak for yourself, multi-gunman. Clyde says, and I was only two years old. <laughs> and then Clyde, uh, Chuck says to Clyde, uh, had I not been there, I may have eaten your baby food with chopsticks. There were around 1,454 North Korean commandos killed uh, the year I was there. And then Clyde says back to Chuck, I doubt that wholeheartedly North Korea ever has a what ever was a threat. It's always been uh, the Chinese and I am 56 and still eat food with chopsticks. Now, Chuck, I'm just saying I am I am fascinated uh, with uh, with with a lot of things, and the fact that not only were do do you have knowledge on this because you were there, but it's see now why why can't you just like blurt out some some history that you were part of or something like that? See now I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I knew uh, you were a tanker, um, but other than that, um, <laughs> other than that, uh, Chuck really doesn't talk about it much, like some people. Um, but either way, either way, Chuck, and and there's n no joking, absolutely nothing but uh, um, heartfelt when I say uh, thank you uh, for your service. After that, it gets sketchy, so I'll just move on. <laughs> I'll just move on. Poco, do you know that the back door is more sanitary uh, than her mouth? I have, uh, I, I, yeah, I have heard that. Uh, Poco, Miles, too? God help us. Redneck. Those uh, fish uh, seen too much to let them live. That's right. They had to go. Salty, married nakedness, and the happy new naked. Personal favorite. Um, Gun wild, a naked New Year's. Miss 27, new naked. What did you get? That was new naked salty man. Melted gunman says, sulky nakedness has arrived. Poco, yay, Matt gonna send me that set. What happened? You got fucked. You're used to that though, Poco. Poco, Miles has a uh, point. Uh, it's a Democrat, not...
Democratic. Okay. Uh, multi gun. Oh, sorry. EMT rail fan. Hello, Mr. David Brown. Mm. EMT again. Uh, Paul Pelosi decided that he was going to stay home and get hammered that night. <laughs> what? Miles said they deleted us. Evidently, he left a comment, so tell me, Clyde, is Korea kitty slotted, uh, the, the kitty slotted vertically or, or horizontal? Are you surprised? Sheeple Gun Guy, sorry Matt, I couldn't hear you. Someone who shall remain nameless, but not odorless, was busy ripping a hole in their pants. Go ahead, Eric, keep uh, turning those uh, sh shirts a deeper shade of brown, because you've got stock in Clorox. Hey, funny true story, uh, Sheeple Gun Guy. Remember somewhere in there yesterday, I may or may not have ripped one. And uh, I believe it was Matt that said, oh, that sounded wet. And I said, it's okay. I have my man pad in. One of them might have been squishy. <laughs> Not sure which of the 20. EMT Rail Fan. Uh... Delta One Kenobi. D1. D1 is a misdemeanor. I gotta get on to figuring out the logistics of us switching from this to bingo. Might be required to get some bingo pads or something. I don't know. I don't know. Gunwild, yo, bitches. Gunwell, Tin Scourge. Huber said he was going to start working on that hoagie bun. Nice. I'm glad you talked to him. Did you get to talk to him for a long time? I know if you ask him how his day's going, that might be an hour to an hour and a half. But um, if anybody knows John's number, feel free to call him and just talk to him. Because he actually really likes that. And... I, uh, m Mama. Um, Paul from PA Brew News. Cheers, everyone. And let's go fuck yourself, Brandon. I mean, Biden. Fuck Joe Biden! Fuck Joe Biden! Fuck Joe Biden! And Cobra saying the F-14 Tomcat. Yes. God. Wouldn't it be great to watch her eat a banana? Uh, Cobra, what is David Brown's go-to brand now? Um, well, his present carry gun, uh, looks, uh, well, it's not a two-tone. I'm, I'll just go on record as saying that I could take or leave a two-tone. I, uh, do happen to, uh, like this guy. Sharky test. Uh. Oh, that must be light making its way through the uh, firing pin hole, right? Right, Sharky? Sharky? Um, his, uh, his present carry is a bobbed uh, four and a quarter Dan Wesson, chambered in 45 ACP. It is a uh, beautiful gun. I am very much looking forward to shooting it. Just like this one, of course, he has confirmed that I shot this. And I'm like, I had to have shot this. I've, uh, 
yeah. It's a it's a tack driver. Okay, let's guzzle this and then play some touch football. Sub comment from Smile Money. Well, it is not a Smith & Wesson or a Glock. I think the Colt Delta Elite is in the running. Um, I don't know if he ever thought about that. He he lights the four and the quarter for a carry gun, and he prefers 45 ACP as his carry round. So, um, no, I didn't. I figured it wouldn't take him long. When when Craig pulled that out, and I said. David, this is like the natural progression for you. Uh, you're pissed off at Smith & Wesson, and you had a very nice Smith & Wesson uh, performance center. Um, like, holy shit, these are, these are not cheap, uh, not cheap uh, pistols at all from Smith & Wesson. And uh, I said, this, this is, this is destiny. This is the gun that you want. You need to go this route. Oh, I, I can't. I... Bunky, Bunky paid for the uh, the audio. The dude that's uh, converting his uh, at least the first book uh, over to an audio book, and uh, he's like, uh, I have to, I have to, I have to show my appreciation and and pay her back. I gotta, just gotta. I'm like, I don't think she'd mind. And he goes, I I will mind. And I go, okay, that's where it stops. I said, it's a damn shame. That is a nice gun. And the price was decent, and then, of course, long story short, Craig uh, took even more off for David, because David is relentless. Um, but when uh, he got home, and and she said, well, what are you, you going to carry? And I don't remember what he even had for an option. And she's like, you have to have something good. You have to have something reliable. You should keep... And he's like, well, I, I looked at this one. It's like, what was it? And she, he goes, it's a Dan Wesson, four and a quarter, bobtail... 45 and she's just like call Craig right now and see if he still has it or if he sold it he still has it tell him you will be down tomorrow morning to pick it up you gotta love Bunky Bunky if you happen to hear me say this I I uh I love you I love you guys you uh I uh I can't. I can't even imagine uh, uh, not having uh, David and Bunky in our me and Christine's lives. They're, uh, I mean, COVID fucked shit up for a while, but of course, I guess it did that for everybody. But we all we're finding out through the Twitter files that it turned out that the basically the whole thing was a propaganda scam. But I suppose I should watch what I'm saying when I talk about what evidence is coming out because. Uh, I'm guessing that uh, I, they they have, let me double check, they have not gotten back to me on the appeal uh, for uh, Captain Dick Nozzle. Nope, they have not gotten back to me for my appeal, um, which is just a complete crock of shit. Uh, when you consider, they said, they said that I was spreading disinformation about the 2020 election. And all I was talking about, exactly what came out of the Twitter files. Let's try doing an upload. And boom, you have too many strikes. Due to community guideline strikes, you cannot upload videos at this time. Of course, there's like no timer that tells you... Okay, you can uh, you can upload now on this date. Let's see the uh, the last update was on December twenty first, and uh, I in, unless they find something else, in which case they will do just like they did to B and E Brew Reviews. They will just delete the channel. They give you no notice if there's anything on there that you want. You should get it because we all oh, never mind. We're we're gonna delete your channel for being right. Again, YouTube. Have you have you heard of the uh, actual accounts uh, from Mark Zuckerberg, which I talked to 
uh, talked about and got a strike. And uh, then uh, we, uh, we're, we talk about the fact that uh, Trump won. And uh, the whole thing was a sham and being covered up by the deep state. And uh, the FBI. And this is all in the Twitter files. Personal favorite, by the way. <laughs> like I said. So, so uh, you are going to continue to destroy people's uh, YouTube accounts. Because you are endorsing a lie. Your community guidelines are fucking bullshit and you're covering up for the government. So YouTube, let me ask you, are you part of the agenda? Are, is stuff gonna, if, uh, if uh, Elon, Elon Musk were to buy YouTube, would he find out that uh, conversations were had with the FBI and the deep state to delete and silence people like me and others who have been right all along. So, fuck you, YouTube. Rumble, could you please, could you please not be a bunch of fuck-ups and fix your shit? It's not like Rumble is new to the scene. I can't... I, I made the comment, and I'm not going to waste my time showing you because it seems to work whenever I show you guys. But, uh, nope, I cannot watch Rumble full screen on my phone. Which means, if it doesn't happen to you, then there's some kind of a, an issue between the Rumble app and uh, the OnePlus 10 Pro phone. Uh, Rumble has been updated I don't know how many times and no matter what and of course every time I get the opportunity I do uh, send tech support a thing saying nope you still haven't fixed it. You still haven't fixed it. So let's just say that I go to the uh, X22 report uh, one of my personal favorites. I usually uh, try to listen to uh, the uh, the B uh, report every single day. Let's see, this one was uh, 24 hours ago. People awake is the DS uh, greatest fear Biden. Um, so I click on it. And if I turn it on its side, that's what I get. And when I turn it back, it doesn't reset. The only way, if I wanna, if I wanna, instead of just listen, actually watch, is I have to back out and start the fucking thing over again. I'm not bitter. Hey, did I mention this is the world's greatest Mosin Nagant? I mean, I tell you, I tell you, I don't know how many people I've shown this to that I said, you know what a Mosin the Gaunt looks like? And I'm like, uh-huh. And it's like, oh, what's that chambered in? Um, this is a Mosin the Gaunt. Usually, usually those people that are keen on it, the, uh, the box mag is always, uh, always a giveaway. But, uh, yeah, I, uh, be a good thing to take, uh, doing some snow shooting. Matt Davis says, B is in biscuit, or boner, nine. Boner nine is a misdemeanor. And I probably have already lost the battle up at the, uh, up at the shack. Um, never made it up there. You know, I don't even know if Michael's even been up there. Of course, 
he had a he had a guy, you know, he had one of his co-workers come in. <coughs> Chew! <coughs> Good morning! Oh, my wife's got COVID. What? What a fucking retard. Steven, Bud K seems to sell gas station trash. Uh, that you're better off uh, burning your ca burning your cash prices. I've never made a purchase on Bud K. Uh, Hector, screw YouTube, has not been alerting me to these uploads. Another strike on the other channel? Lovely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because uh, you can't possibly talk about the actual news. But then again, the alphabets aren't talking about the actual news, really, are they? Because they don't want the sheep. They don't want to awaken the sheep. But, um, I, I've, been, uh, I've been on the forefront on this since it began. I mean, all you really have to have is uh, a brain. I know, it's, sheep don't have brains. Wade, tell us, Matt, what all do you put up your nose at work and elsewhere? I don't want to know that. Jolson, yes, he did do a video when he first started putting the trains up, but he never shot a video of, of, uh, of what was just before he passed away. Uh had explained since uh, you last visited to uh, corporate uh, six or eight sheets of plywood or incorporated incorporated six or eight sheets of plywood they were uh, all from uh, his dad uh, from my understanding then he says needs more cowbell um, yeah when I was there I'm sure I saw that, well, I saw, I would have seen the same thing that you saw, because he did not um, develop, uh, obviously, any more uh, from the time that we were there to visit him. It, uh, it wasn't very long uh, before, we, before we lost uh, Scott. But, uh, yeah, it was a big, a big, big array of uh, plywood sheets, uh, and his trains were on there, and uh, Katie... Katie, Katie was just standing there looking, and I said, I said, are, uh, are you, uh, checking in on the latest? She goes, every time, every time he goes into town, uh, he comes back with, uh, a couple of things, uh, for this, and, you know, it's like, I'm just checking out what, what he's put in here, I mean, I, I haven't seen that yet, and, yeah, it was, it was, uh, it was, it was. It definitely wasn't the most elaborate I've seen, but considering I don't know how long he has been working on it, that uh, I guess it was progressively uh, expanding. It still looked pretty cool. Uh, Jim says, "Sounds like a tomcat." I know it's still a pretty, pretty wicked looking thing. I mean, it's like. Uh, just badass and impressed with all the military stuff. Uh, smile money. The House will be Republican and the Senate is still under the Democrats. 50 to 40. Now that one Dem switched to independent after the election. And then, of course, you got the other, uh, the other scenario where the Republican... Uh, that's the uh, House, though. I, I believe he's a, I believe he's a member of the House. Um, the one that uh, the one that did a Biden. I mean, how? Damn. How? I just have a question. I you know Greg is just like a course. You're probably gonna stand up because he's a Republican. Well, fuck yeah, I am. I don't like Dem. I don't like the Dems. As far as I'm concerned, bloop, they're all gone. Because every time they're in power, the, the U.S. pays for it. You pay for it. I pay for it. Look what's going on now. I mean, case in point. 
We just ordered 21 doors for the spook house. It was uh, uh, $160 shy of $14,000 for cheap doors at Menards. The front door, Greg goes, well, why don't you design something a little nicer for the front door? And I'm like, okay, I really like uh, this glass. It was, uh, it had uh, a detail to it, and it was uh, uh, frosted so that you, you couldn't see, they couldn't see if someone was on the other side of it. And I clicked, uh, I clicked for the price. It was $6,000 just for that one door. Then you talk about food. I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, I remember the day that a fucking bag of potato chips was a dollar fifty or a dollar eighty nine, and now it's six dollars. It was what was it over ten dollars for the uh, the pocky uh, ghost pepper chips from Walmart. They used to be two fifty. So. All of you people that endorse the uh, uh, the Dems and uh, and 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 you have to you have to vote for a Dem. You can't vote for the Republican Party. You can't vote for any of them. Oh, Trump, Orange Man, bad. Oh, the Orange Man, bad. Hey, how's your four hundred one k going? You fucking hypocrite, pieces of shit. I mean, y'all, y'all, y'all putting uh, fuel in your vehicles, right? How's that going for you? <laughs> saw saw a video of a bunch of people at a char Tesla supercharging station. Yep, every spot was filled. There was cars in every single line, and oh man, can you imagine if this was a force thing right now? California already dealing with rolling brownouts, and all of a sudden you'd have something like this. <laughs> Fuck. You know, it's supposed to be America, man. Let people decide what they want. If I want to be, which Greg says I'm an eco-terrorist, if I want to be an eco-terrorist, that is on me. And if you think that, oh, we'll just, we'll just get everybody to use electric vehicles, oh yeah, yeah, why, why don't you do a little research on that and truly see what the, uh, what the footprint, what your footprint, fucking joke f carbon footprint looks like in making an electric vehicle and the cost I mean how many children are over there in the mines uh, mining up the uh, the materials to uh, build a personal favorite build a battery I haven't heard anyone be able to dispute the fact that uh, um, by the time you uh, you've built it uh, an electric an electric car I don't want to mention any names because then I'll get uh, death threats an electric an electric car having the same the same footprint as a Hummer so more wake up sheep wake up you little sheepy sheep look at what the true agenda really is control we are not manipulating your t your TV. Oh yeah, yeah we are. There's nothing wrong with your TV. We're manipulating it. There's something wrong with your brain. You're not fucking using it. Liberalism, find the cure. God. How bad does it have to get on, oh, I just love San Francisco and uh, California uh, with... Uh, with what is uh, with going on out there, uh, yeah, the the homeless and oh yeah, it's just such a it's such a great place. Okay, these days uh, makes me a little nervous, but it's 
speaking of uh, speaking of Jim, J Dog, what did you? Uh... Oh, never mind. I was like J Dog. I think that's it in there. It's like, I don't remember what happened to uh, to Jim's uh, revolver after uh, J Dog put it back in the case, but I think it got <laughs> yeah. I don't care. What do you need? A new car? I don't care. Um, a Sharky, cheers all. Three twelve on deck. Hey Matt, Gunwild, stop talking about your ice hole, Matt. It's just a porno. I, I'm I'm good with that. Yeah. Uh, Sharky, Lego has Star Wars. No Star Trek though. Must be copyright crap. Could be. Yep. Uh, mega, mega, was it constraints or whatever? Uh, Star Trek. I mean, how really? You can create all sorts of Star Wars stuff, but Sharky, twenty-five thirty. Oh yeah, originally picked up my phone. To Christine will, Christine will be here, and uh, I might as well uh, uh, light up the living room. There we go. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. <coughs> Jim, if you see this, I will, uh, will uh, get back. Miles, yeah. Miles is like, no, I am not surprised. Yeah, of course, those are real. But <laughs> they taste great. Sharky, 2530. Agreed on the personal favorite I'm willing to share. Oh, and hey, Miles, uh, what a surprise you showing up. Read more. Uh, we had no warning at all. Laugh out loud. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, the redhead. There's multiple pictures of her in here. She's uh, she's very cute, and from uh, different angles, she still has a little curviness to her. Sharky, hey David on the phone. How's the Dan Wesson doing? I I don't think he shot it. Of course, right now I went bell to go with him. I have uh, we have not renewed our membership. Uh, out at the uh, range. I mean, I don't have a, an excuse not to. I just Christine lost the paperwork. <laughs> just kidding. I, something. Yeah, she did. But I'll blame her anyway. Uh, Mister Twenty Seven says top forty six. Multi Gunman says top naked, assuming you've got a three fifty seven Magnum and whiskey with you. Mister Twenty Seven says, "Hey, Brew Matt." Mister Multi Gunman says, "Matt must be ignored until he meets his contractual obligations of showing up naked. Until then, Salty Shellback has placed a ban on communicating with him." I'm okay with that. Where are we? Ooh, home stretch, baby. Sharky, 5522, hello. Now that's a nice addition. Yeah, she, uh. Yeah. I could stare into those great big eyes all day long. Sharky, hour 1805. Matt is talking about something, but nothing gets registered over here. <laughs> Gee, Sharky, I don't understand what the big problem was. You know what I love about doing a brew review with both Matt and Miles? Sharky! Echo, 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 echo. Eight! E8 eight is a misdemeanor. Sharky, 
Sharky, SH. Did you ever feel safe? Happy New Year, uh, all. And Outro Babe kind of made it? If the blur was intended. What? Okay, now you make me want to look. The blur. <laughs> yeah. Checking. Still checking. I mean the girl. The girl on screen is still hot. Nope. They froze it. They froze it. They froze it late, Sharky. Uh, you would normally have been totally denied of them. That's okay. I'll, I'll put them back. I'm good with that. They want to play the game? I can play the game back. Right? Gunwild. Delta Niner. D9. D9 is a hit demeanor. Hit, 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 hit. Decisions, decisions. Gunwild robbed of the outro, babe? Kind of. Ray, what? Brah, you need a home for Ed's 1911? I'm here for you. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. See, I know. Actually, actually, I've had this conversation with 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 one of you. Well, technically, two of you. Um, there's. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't Ed's goddamn gun. Ed, I was like Ed. I want to get the SIG in a 10 millimeter. I want the SIG Elite stainless steel rosewood grips. Ed searched just like he searched for Christine's 44 Magnum. Searched the world over and couldn't find shit. Found that at his local place. Got a little bit of a deal on it because he bought so much shit in there. And he called me and said, this is what they have. After looking for, uh, I don't know what the hell it was. For some reason, there was a lull in the action because Jolson has, Jolson has the gun, the 10 millimeter Delta Elite. And if you take a look, because I think I've showed you in the video, it says, not Delta Elite. This it says Elite right on it. You can barely see it because of that stupid hydro dipping. <coughs> and. I could just have Jade Elite ammunition, strip it all down, maybe even do rowbar coating or something, a similar process or something like that to it, put the rosewood grips on it, which even that has turned out to be a challenge. Sharky was like going to try to surprise me and find rosewood grips. So if Jay did the work, he would have rosewood grips to complete the package. Couldn't find them. Couldn't find them. Couldn't find them. So. It's. It's like. It's, it's different. If Ed went out and bought it. And enjoyed it. And used it. And had it. And blah blah blah. And then out to the gracious of his heart. Or after we lost him. And Jules sent it out. Or something like that. That would be. That would be one thing. But. This was a search by Ed for me. He just happened to have had it for a few months. So, but if Ed was here, Ed, what was your philosophy? It's your gun, Eric. Do what you want with it. I don't know how many times I heard that. The SKS was an example of that. Ed, I gotta send this back to you. Well, why? Because I can't use it for the chassis build. Well, why not? It's pristine! This is the nicest SKS I've ever seen in my life! I'm not about to take a hacksaw to it! 
too late, it's yours, you do what you want. If you get another one and you use it for that, otherwise enjoy it. Love you, my brother. You do what you want, though. If you want to cut it up, you want to give it away, do it. I mean, I, I heard that. That's because he was Ed. And the home that I want it to go to? <laughs> I don't. Multi-gun man. Two of you in this video, and neither of you have whiskey or a 357 Magnum. Shameless. Absolutely shameless. This is a gun channel. Good point. Multi-gun man. Unfortunately, there's freaking guns all over in the way. I know, white guy problems. And, uh, I don't have, I don't have a 357 Magnum available here. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. I guess if, if, I guess if we're going to listen to Multi-Gun Man, we miles ago straight to this. I would be so much happier if I went to had shit drop on these beautiful grips, you know. It's like, you know what? It's love. It's it's used. There's marks right there. This was a uh, magazine that fell off the uh, top shelf when I used to have it uh, tucked under there, but now all of the revolvers are in a separate safe except for the Model 610. I don't know if I've ever showed that one here, though. But, yeah. Multi-Gun Man. Again. Gotta love that. Oh, yeah. And no cutting cunt hole hole on this baby. So, hang on. And I'll try to do it up proper for you. Or will I? I guess whiskey's whiskey. I'm pretty sure if you were here, you wouldn't give a flying rip shit as long as we were drinking something good, right? Ooh, oh yeah. You know, multi-gun man, you've actually never, uh, you've never told me. What, what is your favorite whiskey? Asking for a friend. I tell you what, multi-gun man, Let's have a have a little uh, blended Scotch whiskey, little Grants. Um, got this from Ludwig. We're gonna do it up with Grandpa, Grandma. Sit the fuck to the side. You're always a little cocky and bossy when you were alive, but I know that's just the way you were. What I did like is, uh, my grandfather <laughs> didn't take her shit. It's kind of like, it's, I, no, not to sound even cockier myself, but it's kind of like my relationship with Christine. She is a very strong and dominant person. <laughs> we don't clash. We, we're like this whiskey. We're a, we blend very nicely together. And I have not had anything other than this. So you can't say you can't say I'm punch drunk, but I have no problems admitting that I it took me it took me dealing with a lot of bullshit and then uh, a, a freaking hooker, and unfortunately I had children with the hooker and she fucked every she fucks everything up all the way along the way. Thankfully. With the help of Christine, their Lily and Sam have turned out fantastic. Now, as far as having contact with the hooker, I, uh, sorry, Lily, but I am definitely more proud of Sam because Sam said, go fuck yourself, I don't know what, a decade ago, and has had no contact with her. He's, she's like, you know, just because 
uh, you're capable of having a baby, uh, she is living proof that you're not capable of being a mom. And the relationship that she has with Christine, actually the relationship that they both have with Christine, Lily is actually editing Christine's latest book. And Christine was like, it's not really her bag of kicks. And Lily's like, Dad, this this book is freaking awesome. She's like, I and Lily is like, uh, if if Lily if Lily wanted to be, she could be a college level literary professional teacher. She's this this is what she does. I mean, the the books that she reads and and she's just like, uh, yeah, I'll I'll do the editing. And of course, at first she was like, I go what. And she goes, well, I don't want there to be a conflict and, and Christine to think because I'm going to change this or change that. And Christine's just like, sweetheart. And, and But what Lily is right about one thing. Some of the finest written material that's out there, like Stephen King stuff or whatever, some of these people just don't have the skill set for making sure that everything is right. Their ability to bring you a story that they need someone to polish polish it off and, and make it right. And that's basically what's happening right now, and it's, it's awesome. Lily could do this shit for a living. Lily, David, if you hear me say this, when she went through your first first book with the red pen, I don't know what you guys are paying your editor because that woman is doing nothing but taking your money. Oh, so, sorry. Multi-gun man. After all, this is a gun channel, right? 357 Magnums and whiskey. I need to get this out. I, I couldn't even tell you the last time I brought this out to shoot it. Mmm. This is just such a... I need to bring this and the 610. I don't know if I ever mentioned it. The 610 out at the same time. Mm. Multi-gun man. dun 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 and maybe the absolutely coolest thing get a shot off before you were fucking dead. <clears throat> oh, is that sweet love or what? This is yours. Yeah. Mine's better. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Yours is like... Mine's this. better. I got one like... Which one are you talking about? What are you, which one are you saying is better? Now, if you're going to blurt out that your Model 10 that you got from Ed is better, I have to give you a couple of things. It's a 44 Magnum. It's a classic. And Ed got it. Okay, so if that's the one you're talking about, then I yield. Yeah. That yours is better. Ta-da. That, though, that is, that is fixing an Eric fuck-up. Mumsy, the woman, the woman that now... Touches a gun like this. Here, hon, you can have this back. And Jesus! That's no lie! I know! <laughs> I'm like, Mom, how did you. What, what? Do we need to take you shooting? You know, we've had experiences where we took people that wanted nothing to do with guns, give them, give them some experience, teach them that 
you can get around liberalism and they have a good time and you can bring them to which is the bright side this is the dark side I fucked up my graduation present was that gun I mean technically I don't know what the serial number is but that could be my gun that's that is it is that the Mosin? the finest Mosin on the planet yes Christine it, it doesn't is doesn't look like the Mosin anymore well here what do you mean it looks just like this sweetheart don't you see the resemblance between the two of these what are you smoking other than the bolt carrier no well not even that this is a 90 degree which that can't be because it hit my scope well I'm looking at it from a funny angle this uh this was actually done by Eric Iraq veteran 8888 oh. and he was a huge channel he's like Eric yeah you go ahead you send it out to me I'll put one on there the only thing I'm gonna charge you for I think he charged me thirty dollars for that handle and welded it on the gun but the only way most people even can tell that that's a Mosin is the box mag there's not very many guns oh on. yeah I, well like I said I'm looking at it from a kind of wonky angle you um, need to shoot that. If you have fun with the JP, that's a tack driver. I'm pretty sure you'd have fun with that. Can I do 500 plus with that? Rock yards? Yeah. Well, four guys out at the shoot that year that we were shooting down the, uh, the path. What was it? 350 yards? I did 500 with the JP. Okay, five, it was 550 yards that we had the plate set up. Everybody that shot this gun that day hit that plate at 550 on their first shot. Everybody, well, one person didn't put it. We won't embarrass any by mentioning. I did on my first shot, but I hit the JP. The JP and that were shot side by side. Mm -hmm. And everybody that shot, everybody that shot this in the JP said, 550 yards, Eric. I've never even shot a rifle beyond 100 yards. Mm -hmm. My entire life. Okay. Look through the reticles. Do you see the third little dash? Yes. Hold dead center. We're shooting down a column of trees. There's no wind to affect this. Go three, three and a quarter, three and a smudge, and then pull the trigger. And you can hear, ting. Such a glorious sound. Here. Here we go! Pants, pants off! Hi, Mr. Hi, Mr. Pants off. What? Yeah, pants off. Yeah. You know, I was gonna send you something today that I came across that said, "Do you need coffee? Take your pants off." Are you enjoying your coffee? Take your pants off. And I thought of you. Hell yeah! I gotta send it to you. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sitting down here with Eric. I'm not drinking anything because I just <sighs> got home. Want me to build you a sweet one? <laughs> what would you rather own, that or this? Oh, All right, well, I didn't mean to interrupt. I just wanted Matt's phone number so I could ask him about some fishy stuff. 555. Five, five. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know what's <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I come to the brewery and Matt's like, all right, I can lay these fish and fuck, I get them boneless as hell, and I want to know. Oh, stuff. for the perch and, and the oh, puppies and yeah. I'm not even going to ask, Matt. Normally, I ask permission before I give out a phone number. I will I will text it to you. Yeah, is he working? No, nope. nope. uh, he's, uh, he's got Charlie, uh, so... That's why he's not, he's not, he, he could have been here, but he is an idiot and decided that his son was more important. Yeah, fuck all that shit. I know. <laughs> no, they, I, you were talking about eating fish. You gotta watch it a little bit, just because I know how you are with bones, and that's how I am with bones. If them fucking crappies have bones in them, I fucking no. throw them. I don't even eat them. No, no. There's, uh -uh. there's rib bones. And then there's lateral bones, like crossbones, and they're so, they're small. Small, and those are the ones that get you. 
And if if you fry them, you can it, you won't know that you're eating bones. Mm-hmm. Uh, but if you end up like half microwaving them the next day or something, you just fucking digging bones out of your mouth. And I just wanted to know if Matt was. I just wanted to talk to him about it and see how he cleans them. That's it. Nothing important. Okay, Mr. Pants on. Well, I was actually, off. I was actually, I was actually going to give you guys a call tonight. I, I had nothing actually relevant to talk about. I was just going to prove you wrong that I could actually call you. <laughs> Too late. Got you first, bitch. Yeah, son of a, <laughs> son of a bitch. Let me, let me get you that number right now. Well, that's cool. Well, I'm glad you and Christine are doing good. Christine sounds pretty good. Like, she ain't dying, so that's good. No, still kind of tired and still have a little bit of the residual cough from it, but other than that, I'm doing okay. Like, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> I am so air, sending you that. that COVID right out. <laughs> Take your pants off. Take your pants off. Want coffee? Take your pants off. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> No, we're doing good. We're doing good here, except for fucking money, like usual, you know. So, yeah. how much snow and stuff did you guys get down there? Did you get pounded like a hooker with that last snowstorm? No, no, we really. We, our, ours was a blizzard, so it was it was about five inches of snow and forty fucking mile an hour winds for a couple of days, but nothing bad. Well, that's not bad. Sure, Caitlin, appreciate it. Yeah, you can do that. <laughs> Uh, no. We're having tacos for supper, so Caitlin's oh. making tacos. I don't we know had what, nachos yesterday. I don't know what we're having. I was actually thinking about just having a, maybe a chicken salad. That sounds good. I love salad. That's I love good for, salad. That's what I had for lunch today. Of course you did. I was thinking about having macaroni, Chuck, from a fucking fox. Don't even go there. Don't get me started with the macaroni! I love making homemade macaroni and cheese. It's like one of my go-to things. It's easy and it's good as fuck. Um, yeah, but if what? you're going to do it right, you have to make the macaroni, too. Ah, uh, see, I don't... I, I I know you're a fucking master chef, but we don't make the macaroni, too. <gasps> Maybe we're going to have to do that next time we get together. I love macaroni and love cheese. You know what? I think we should have a basement pop. No, we're not going to have a basement pop. I'm gonna um, pop you off. Cheese and baked, uh, you know, beans like Bush's baked beans with buttered Italian bread. To top off the cheese and the uh, bean there you juice. Go. Uh, so yeah, I know. I'm getting put a little fried. bacon bits in the macaroni and cheese Are too. You ready? Oh, mm -hmm. Don't you dare! I hope Christine takes a shot of bamboo for us. Oh. <laughs> Why did that not go off? Let's try another one. Eric? Stop it! Fire it again! I am gonna shoot your kneecaps off! Let's, let's, let's try the camera. Eric! What the fuck is wrong with this ammo? Stop! Sounds like you guys are having way too much fun. No, it's Eric just being his child self again. Playing with toys. <laughs> Yeah, that's what our lives are. Oh, I try to stay alive every right. day. I got these from Sharky. Nice. Sharky reloads mm -hmm. bad ammo. They're blank. They're uh. Howl. They're safe. They got the little pad so it doesn't hook, hook, hurt your firing pin. He said if you're gonna have fun with that. I remember what what was it Matt that was down here the first time? Thought he was gonna poop himself. <laughs> I don't know where the other one went. That's right there. Oh. Well, I'm glad both of you are doing good, and please watch Bullet Train and not Beer Fest. <gasps> we watched, um, what was that one? Onion? Glass Onion. Glass Onion, Knives Full Out? Knives Full Out. That was good, too. Really? Unfortunately, yeah. unfortunately it's, it's the second of, movie in the yeah. series. But it's kind of <laughs> funny and a comedy, and uh, it's got a little bit in a story going on. Let me just put to you this: I was I wasn't bored, and I didn't want to get up and vacuum. So. This is a good movie. It was, it was a good movie. It was, it, every literally everybody that you see on screen, you'll probably go. I recognize him or her from an fuck Agatha Christie's even in it. I don't even remember where she was though. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I'll have to check that out. But you need to check out Bullet Train. It's it's it. I don't like Brad Pitt all that much. 
But it was fucking hilarious. Like, it, it was an action film, a film on a train, and I was like, that sounds stupid. But it was so fucking full of twists and turns, and it, it, was, it actually made me laugh a lot. Like, it was. What, what was the one we watched the other night? Oh, this is too. War? With, uh, uh, with Chris Pine? What was the name of it? Oh, yeah. I think it was called This is War, and it's Chris Pine. And what's I her don't name? Remember. Reese Witherspoon. Reese Witherspoon. And it it's a fucking action comedy. And of course Eric's a sucker for everything works out at the end. Oh, you just like the romantic part. I'm Roman such a girl. Eric's a romantic type. We'll have to edit that out. No, you're not going to. You just throw the brew review up as is. Yeah, so if, you, if I don't hear from you that you watch Bullet Train in the next two weeks, I'm going to have to buy it on Blu-ray on Amazon and send it to you so you can watch it. Okay, we'll try, we'll try to start it tonight. Is it on, is it on Netflix? <laughs> Everything that's on Netflix that's new, you have to pay for it, pretty much, right? Yeah, yeah. No, not Netflix. You have to pay for all the new shit lately on fucking Amazon Prime. Well, I don't know if Christina will enjoy it, but I think she'll get a good laugh out of it. But it's it's an assassin movie, and it's like an assassin movie gone wrong, you know. Mm. Grant mm. Pitt is fucking hilarious in the movie. A lot of good twists, and it was filmed in like Tokyo, in Japan. So you get all these weird, weird, yeah, where the bullet train originated or whatever. It was it was weird, but it was good. Stop putting your finger in her butt. What about this? In a rag. Lick it for Sharky. Or it oh count. my God! What are you licking her bum now for? <laughs> because because we found out that there's less <laughs> there's less contamination in her asshole than there is in her mouth. Poco. You know, not to be crude, but Eric would like to you know get a little bit of that. You're breaking up. You're breaking up. So we must be losing you. Um, all right. I'll talk to you guys later. Good to see you. You're here. You're doing good. All right. Uh huh. Love you. I mean, bullet train. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Bye. Bye. I just came down to tell you that during the course of this weekend, we have to go through and figure out the liquor situation because I need to figure out what I got for the <laughs> girls' dinner party that I can use because. We well, what, to, well, know, well, what's the theme? If it's whiskey... It's zombie. Do we have the blue Coracel still down here, or did I use all of that? You must have used all of that. Okay, so then I'm going to need to get another one. Blue. Uh, I, I, I don't know. You'd have to come down here and I can tell you what. Yeah, it, what's on these two, sh these we'll do two that this shelves. The third shelf is all bloody mess. Because I gotta stuff. get everything organized and figure out what I have and don't have so I can start getting. You should tell Nihap what you want so you can have 57 bottles of it here before then. <laughs> I did that last time. I don't feel like I. Watch out what you wish for, Christine. <laughs> Ding dong! <laughs> Fucking 20 minutes later. I don't know that I should do that again. I feel. I feel like a loser. Hey, I can't afford to buy my own booze, so could you buy it for me? Yeah. <laughs> I just figured I'd buy something one payday at a time until the girls' dinner party to make our zombie drinks. Zombie drinks? Yeah. I have to look up some recipes. It actually sounds kind of interesting. I do have a recipe for a zombie. You Multiple? Make it. But there's probably... I'm not going to do like the icky brain ones because nobody's going to drink those. You know what you should do for the next party? You should do a Star Trek theme. And we could do the Star Trek cocktails that I got from Lily. Let's take You a... have to talk to the girls because they're the ones that vote. Shore leave. Cocktails for chillin'. We're not doing that this now. Is what, this is what the doctor ordered. Sulu. The Sulu. <laughs> yeah, see, look, there he is right so there. Just keep that in mind for this weekend. We gotta get that done. A little, a little booze inventory. Okay. Boozy woozy inventory. Alrighty then. Okay, I'm yeah. going back upstairs. Are you having a chicken salad for dinner? I'd have to make chicken. Which we probably should make now that it's gonna be Friday. 
Well, why don't you cook both of those? Cook. Do you see how much fucking salad I bought to try to pacify your ass? And you're like, yeah, get the one from Quick Trip. Fuck! I love those. They're so good. You know what? They're very easy for me because then I don't have to have like 15 packages of everything. It's all packaged into one and I just grab the one container, my salad dressing, and I go. I have a package for you. Okay, I'm going now. Um, I read all the comments and I was going to enter the club. If you if you were home ten minutes later, none of this would have happened. Oh, blame it on me. There's only two people on the... Well, I'm over here at the Mr. 10mm Bullet, and for some reason this channel never kicked off. There's only two people in the club, Rich and Gunwild. Rich... Oh, I didn't give a score to this. I didn't even finish it yet. I'm not sure about this. I've, <laughs> I've now let it warm up. Okay, I'll say this. If you find this and you want to give it a try, definitely let it warm up. It had this funkiness to it right in the middle. It's like, hey, this is pretty good. This is what the fuck is going on here. And then it kind of trailed out and did pretty good. As it's warmed up, it is a serious maple and then I don't know what wood staves are. S-T-A-V-E-S, -E wood staves. I don't know if that's chunks of oak that they just threw into the mix or what. I mean, I mean, I approve of 14.7 percent. It's not, it's not boozy. You're going to get some warming if you chug it, but let it warm up. If I had if I had another one of these, I will be Matt and say that I other, other than the lies that have taken place for the last hour and 12 minutes. Um, if I had another one of these, I would not have it tonight, but I would I would probably age another one to see what would happen. It's like this almost sweetness with a maple that comes with it right in the middle then it all like right now I'm uh, I'm good with it but overall in the scheme of all of the really good in uh, Imperial stouts that are out there I would give this an 8 for 14.7 that's actually kind of kind of low and I don't know if this is a label worth saving I kind I kind of like the art but three sheeps, they're 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 really not a uh, um, a high on my uh, my happiness uh, thing as far as uh, a brewery goes. They're uh, they 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 swing and miss more than I don't know if I'm gonna be able to say this. It seems like it's uh <sighs> okay. Hang on, hang on. I might have ooh, might have hit pay dirt. It looks like uh, most of the adhesive is coming with the sticker. Miss some of it missed right there. Some of it missed right there. Got some. Ooh, got a lot right there. More than enough to stick it to the ceiling. Three sheep's wolf. Wow, we are really running out of ceiling. Here's an area. Got to get above the cat line. Well, that that works swimmingly right there. So Rich says, uh, "Cheers, clubbers. Cheers, Rich." Oh, hang on, we're in the club. And since we talked about him so much, Ed sent me multiple bottle openers. One of the ones that I like the most, and of course it's upstairs because it's an Enterprise. So it's upstairs in the Star Trek room. I uh, guess I was looking for this the other day to hold up a 1911. Um, you know what? I'm going to use... Why is it a shock that every time I touch anything on this thing, everything falls over? I am going to use the Horny Ones Hornet Fixer. Because... Sharky will get this. 
Sharky? <laughs> Sharky's like, just shut the fuck up. <laughs> Did you get it? Did... Oh, never mind. I'll wait for a response, because I know there will be one. Sharky? Oh my god. You're younger than me, so not by much, but you're. What? Poof, poof, poof. You know what I'm saying? Um, Sharky, if we do not get. If we do not get the pleasure to grill good food and drink good drink before something happens to either one of us. Christine wants to go visit you there for obvious reasons and I want you to come here for all gun related shit. <clears throat> gun Wild says cheers fuck nuggets. Gonna hit the refresh button and then I'm gonna go grill some chicken. All cleared out. Guys, be like Ed. Like I constantly say, today was a gift. Tomorrow is not granted. So why is there so many assholes out there? Be like Ed. If uh, the people that really knew him always followed that, and the rest of you just listened to us, to what that actually means to be like Ed. No matter how bad it got, Ed always, always had the ability to open up the sunnier side and make you feel good. And uh, I will never forget you, my friend. Then again, I can't because your channel sticker is on my refrigerator, so I see it every morning when I take my drugs so I can deal with work. Okay, you guys. Be safe. And, uh, spread the word. Make sure everybody knows about the real truth about the deep state. Maybe we can, uh, if, yeah, obviously we're not going to get any help from the, uh, the media because they are the deep state. Uh, but we need to, uh, we need to let the sheep know what's really going on. Cheers, guys. Cheers.